Hey everybody, welcome to Alpha Pixel. This is AJ Haynes, and today we have an update to the Drop to Floor plugin that I released a few weeks ago, which is the updated version for Cinema 4D R20. And in the couple weeks that R20 has been out, I've noticed both a few bug fixes and features that I wanted to add to make Drop to Floor more accurate and user-friendly. So let's just jump into those updates. There are three major fixes slash updates to this. Two of them are sort of more bug fixes. The first one is that now, let me just jump into a new scene here, Drop to Floor does work with splines. Um, it did not calculate splines before, and that's more of a bug fix. That was an error on my part, but um, this is the new Drop to Floor here. This is the old one, but if I click the new Drop to Floor, you'll see that splines do work. And if we grab something a little more uh, precise, we drop that to maybe five. We'll just show you here that it does in fact work. And you can go ahead and parent these as well. And rotate and select the parent, drop, there you go. Now the one thing to note on this is that you have geometry selected with along with splines these splines will be ignored so if we parent these two objects under the cube and let's make them much lower you grab the cube and you hit drop to floor it only goes to the bottom of the cube it will ignore those splines now if I select those two in the hierarchy by themselves it will work but I think that's more how users would want that to work. You know, they don't want to worry about things that aren't going to be rendered. If they if they have a model, you know, they're not going to want to drop to a spline if they're looking at geometry. So the other little bug fix slash update is that now um, children objects of the bool object are ignored. And you might be wondering why that is important. Uh, let's just create a quick bool object here with a cube and a sphere. And I'm going to make the cube big and I'm going to cut out a part of the sphere here. And let's just drop them both inside the bool to kind of make a little hemisphere. And we can even, you know, turn that a little bit. So the way the first the original release had it was that it would look at these children objects as full objects of this hierarchy so it would have dropped to the bottom of this invisible cube instead of the result of the bool and now it basically just ignores these objects and will only calculate the result so if I hit it if I let's just lower it down here if I select the bool and hit drop to floor it will only calculate the results and not either of these two objects. If I unhide that, see it would have calculated that before, but that's not what we want. So just another thing to make the drops more accurate. And to demonstrate the last update in this 1.1 update, I'm going to jump back to the bike model. And this is a full update, uh, feature update because this is something the old drop to floor didn't even do. This is a free model from the site. And if you were to open it up just straight out of the file and hit select the bike and hit, I'm going to hit the old drop to floor plugin now. First of all, you're going to notice how long it takes. Second of all, you're going to notice, hmm, it jumps off the floor. Why was that? Well, if I go ahead and toggle down the hierarchy first of all you're gonna see it's a ton of objects if I select every object and I turn it on and make it visible you will see why it jumped up and that is because there was a hidden wheel down here so this is kind of my master wheel that I would work on and then I instanced that wheel to both the front and back but the old drop to floor calculated hidden objects which would probably leave you wondering why um, a lot of your drops were not very accurate. But my new update to Drop to Floor actually ignores hidden objects. So if we go ahead and just hit undo and go back to the way the visibility, the way it was, I'm gonna 
select the bike again and hit my drop to floor and also notice it's probably twice as fast. I'm clicking it now and you'll see it did in fact drop to the bottom and ignore those hidden objects. And just to prove that um, a little more clearly I guess just really quick make a cube and duplicate make another cube duplicate make another cube here and I'm going to parent that lower cube underneath just call it lower and upper so if I just go ahead and select the parent and hit drop to floor as you'd expect it drops to the bottom of the lower object now if I hide that lower object and select the parent you'll see it ignored that that hidden object so again that is I think a really nice new feature that will make your drops a lot more accurate even over the old original version but if I can go ahead and improve upon that then even better so um, so again we've added spline support we've added more accurate calculation of bool objects and we've added ignoring hidden objects so those three things are in this 1.1 update and you can head on over to the site and pick that up right now and if there are any other bugs you guys run into or suggestions to make drop to floor better definitely leave comments below or reach out to me on the website and we will keep making this thing better and better for everybody so also, I do have a couple of new plugins in the works along with some other freebies coming up soon. And to stay informed on those, hit that subscribe button on the channel here and you will be notified when I have either a new video. Also, you can check on that over at the website as well. So stay tuned and we will see you guys in the next video.